Alright, so get out of your garbage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I kid you not. Hunter killer drone ready for deployment. <laughs> oh man, I threw it right to the building next to me. My hunter killer drone killed me. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's OGCP De Silva here, and today's a special day. You want to know why it's so special? No, not because I'm playing Black Ops 1, although that's pretty special in itself. And no, I didn't prestige again in Black Ops 2. Two times is enough for me, and as you guys know, the second time was an accident. I didn't really want to do it. I was just trying to look into what this prestiging thing was all about, and it said enter prestige, and yeah, <laughs> I accidentally prestiged for the second time. But um, honestly, today, you want to know why it's so special? Your boy... GCP turned 22 today. That's right, a year older than 21. I thought I could stay forever 21, but apparently that's not the case. And do I feel any different? No, I really don't. I don't feel any different than I have in the previous couple of years, actually. I still feel like a teenager, honestly. I have the exact same personality, although I have matured over the past couple of years, but my personality overall is the exact same and I think I'm gonna carry over with this personality until the day I die. Um, I, I'm just a kid at heart if any of you have played with me or any of you guys know me um, how I interact with my friends my family I've always been the same I am very fun to get along with and I respect everyone you know there's no one that I really hate in this world and you know honestly I appreciate just life in general, you know, you got to celebrate each year that you're given and you're just um, blessed with um, it and you have to make the most of it as you can and as it comes. So, you know, just to tell you guys who are turning older and older each year, um, just appreciate life, man. Appreciate what you're given, your family, your friends, and just life in general because there's so much you could do in life. Don't beat yourself up about getting older or don't beat yourself up in times um, throughout the year when you know you're not feeling too well or you feel like there's no purpose in life none of that stuff man there's so much in life that you could bring about happiness into your world and into your um, your whole lifestyle honestly I feel great 22 feels exactly like every other year um, and not in a monotonous or not in a like a boring type of way at all because honestly you make the most out of your life by the way you portray it what you do today will influence you in the future right so I mean make the most of what you have and just um, just do what you've always wanted to do do it young I mean don't wait till you're a certain age to do a certain something if you want to achieve um, you know greatness um, it's achieved through um, not only your commitment but just um, having that goal, having that idea, and not waiting um, and putting things off. You know what I mean? So just just have a great time, guys. Honestly, um, it feels great to be 22. I, I kind of feel older, but at the same time, I know that my personality is not going to change. I'm still going to be young. Um, it, it all depends on how you portray yourself, how you want to portray yourself of course you have to act your age I'm not saying don't act your age of course but if you have fun whatever regardless of whatever age you are you're gonna have a greater time in this life um, by portraying that certain personality so honestly um, I want to thank every one of you guys who watch my videos everybody who's entertained by my channel um, thank you for all the support and especially for those of you who have been showing me support lately on my let's plays I didn't expect my let's plays to get as much attention as they're uh, Getting right now, especially with the comments and likes and for those of you who don't comment But at least drop a like on them. Thank you so much for that It does show me that some people are actually watching my videos and uh, they're not really going to waste so um, I just want to thank you guys all for that. Look at this Tomahawk here. Woo -hoo -hoo! My word, dude. I missed the Tomahawk in Black Ops 1. I think Black Ops 1 got the Tomahawk right. Um, in Modern Warfare 3, the throwing knife wasn't that crazy. I wasn't crazy about it. But the Tomahawk in this game was a must. Especially if you're a rusher like myself. You know, 
if you were going for those crazy kill cams, you were able to do it in this game. And I had my um, crazy share of uh, crazy kill cams in this game. And they were fantastic, man. Especially with that Tomahawk. Man, I miss that thing. The C4 was alright in this game. It was good. But I think in Black Ops 2, it's actually a little better. Even though you had two C4s in this game. Black Ops 2, you could... Um, definitely have a more explosive time if you know what I mean but I've been running around with this um, shoot I forget <laughs> I forget what the name of this weapon is the G some G11 there you go the G11 you know it's a fantastic gun but you just have to be on point with your aim otherwise this gun isn't gonna work well for you because you can't spray and pray with it obviously so I dropped 40 plus kills in this game and I even joined late, so that was just a testament to how well you could do with this weapon if you know what you're doing and you have that superb aim. There were some parts in this gameplay right here where I had some really crazy aimbot type kills. I felt like, wow, I have no idea how it just turned on people and instantaneously one-shotted them. But it was fun. Black Ops 1 is always fun to play. And I know that I could always do well in this game. But yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. And after this, it's just celebration time for me. And I'm going to be able to celebrate my birthday with family and friends. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay today. I'll see you guys next time. This is OGCP Da Silva. And I'm signing off.